Union Blue campaign coverage now, and the U.S. Senate candidates are busy taking shots at each other. But tonight, people are really buzzing about a new campaign ad that involves quail and cocaine. Charles Benson explains new at 10. Beer and politics are old buddies, so what better place to show a campaign ad than at the beer garden in Esterbrook Park? I have just administered one gram of cocaine to this quail. Marilyn Frank watched Newman's new ad with interest. I guess it is funny to talk about cocaine with quail. Big moment. Mm. Can you believe our government spent $400,000 to study the effect of cocaine on the sex habits of Japanese quail? When something a little different comes out, you do tend to listen. Whether you think it's dumb or not, you did tend to listen a little more. Polls suggest Newman is running third in a four-way Republican race that is starting to turn negative. We do need to do something to catch their attention. Newman also used humor to go after government spending during his unsuccessful bid for the Senate in 1998. Do you remember what that political ad was about? It's all part of a government study on cow gas. You know, the kind of gas that comes from... Ah, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Tim Karp remembers that 98 ad. He says the new ad does get your attention, but it doesn't mean it will get your vote. It brings a little levity to the, uh, the political scene. Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Neither the president nor Congress specifically approved or signed off on funding for that quail research program. It was approved by the National Institutes of Health.